Excuse me. <laughs> Are you trying to steal my job? Yeah. <laughs> you cheeky kids. <laughs> All right, welcome to PT Final Exam. My name's Mark. Um, today we're going to talk to you about the relationship between restrictive lung conditions and obstructive lung conditions. So there's sometimes some confusion about which one is which. So we have a little uh, analogy here where we kind of talk about Oreos milkshake. Uh, Tilda's just going to eat Oreos over there. Um, have you got Oreos? Mm -hmm. And then Declan's going to eat the milkshake, okay? Or drink the milkshake. So with... Oh, you got your Oreo? Okay. So with the Oreo milkshake, when you have an Oreo milkshake, some of the things that happen is the Oreos get stuck inside your straw, don't they? And what happens when an Oreo gets stuck in your straw? You can't drink it. You can't drink it. So that is the relationship with an obstructive condition. So with this condition, that's where we think about Oreo milkshakes as being obstruction. So obstructive Oreos. So if I put this into Declan's Oreo milkshake and then he takes a drink. Oh, take a drink. How's it doing? Are you getting it? No, keep trying. Anything? Can you get any out, Till? Try it. She's okay. Can you get it? No. no? Uh, so they can't get it because I blocked the end of the straw with Oreos. So if I get here, can, I put it? can, I can get you do it? it? Did you get it? Okay. Right. So we got the Oreos out of the straw. Now can you get it? Is it good now? Mm hmm. So that's your obstructive conditions. Now with restrictive conditions, it's different. You think about um, not being able to get the air in. So one of the ways that it's really good to do that is to actually watch kids this age trying to blow up balloons. So when they're trying to blow up balloons, they just haven't got the force to be able to get the, the air into the balloon and to get it to expand. And that's the same as the lungs. So when you've got a restrictive condition, something is restricting it from getting the, the air in. So if I give Declan a balloon, and I give Tilly a balloon and get them to try and blow it up, they have a really hard time blowing the balloon up because they just don't have... Oh, Declan's close. Oh, are you getting it? So Declan's getting it. Tilly, not a chance because she's got... Just hasn't got the air and the force to be able to get the balloon to expand. So that's what the lungs are like. Um, so with restrictive conditions, in a minute. So with the restrictive conditions, it's kids blowing up balloons, and with obstructive conditions, think about obstructive Oreos. All right. I got it, Dad. Say thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to PT Finance. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos on tips and tricks for how to get through this MPTE process. Also, head over to our website to see our courses, our bundles, the packages that you can get hold of to help guide you through to this exam. If you wanted to sign up, head over to ptfinalexam forward slash mark. There will be the updated discounts and coupon codes for all of our packages. We hope to see you there.